Your father came from Lodz. My father came from Lodz. Did he speak Polish? Well, you know, I don't think so. By the time I arrived, which was quite some years into their marriage, <laughs> um, he was certainly just speaking his very special blend of English, interspersed with Yiddish. I suppose my father did understand some Polish. I, so. I think so. But, um, but no, no. Uh, and he came, you know, to, to England as a boy of 15. And... Um, He, I think what he wanted to do was shake the dust of Lodge off his feet really completely and he probably had no object, objection to shaking off the Polish language either. So whatever he knew of it, I don't think he was very worried about retaining. Uh, I think he wanted to focus entirely on... Um, England and um, making a new life for himself. My paternal grandfather obviously wanted his boys, you know, to get a better deal, to get a good life. Um, something I always remember my father saying was that it was his father who used to come round at night and check on all the children with a candle and he used to come round and check on everybody's bed to make sure they were sleeping. And that was something my father always remembered about his father, those nighttime visits and checks to see all the children were fine and sleeping, content, yeah. But anyway, he was very keen that his sons... Look, I, I presume, as so many people did of that generation... I presume that he thought it was really vital for the boys to get on in life because they had to have a career, they had to make a living, they had to have a trade or whatever it was, but it was they who had to go out and um, earn money, you know, uh, and, and, and hopefully find themselves wives and have families. And I think it was considered in those days certainly that the daughters stayed stayed put, you know, uh, unless they were very unusual and forthcoming women who struck out for themselves and uh, in that kind of world, I, I do believe so. Certainly, my father was the eighth of nine children and his six sisters were born in Lodge, grew up there, married and had their families and didn't move from Poland. Whereas the three brothers, that was um, my uncle Jack, who began life as Jacob, and my uncle Edmund, who began as Itzhak, and my father, who was Abraham, <laughs> uh, and then became Arthur, um, were all sent out as young, very young fellows. I mean, 15 is such a young age to come out into the world. They were all sent to Lanzmann as it were, you know, people who were um, distant relatives or close friends, people who were known from their town, you know. And um, the two older, older no, one older brother and the youngest of them, the one who came after my father, who was my uncle Edmund, apparently they did come to England where they were very young chaps in their teens, but only stayed a very short while and then both headed off for the United States where they made their lives, where they, mm. you know, learnt whatever they were going to do and stayed, settled down, had families. My father elected to stay in, in England. Did your father ever speak about his mother? Yes, he did. He, 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 not, not very much. He didn't. Look. It, probably the fault lay with me because I didn't, you know, as a small, as a youngster, perhaps didn't ask enough. But I think perhaps he was closer to his father. Maybe she was so busy. Listen, the mother of nine children isn't usually somebody who sits around and has nothing to do, you know. 
Um, yes, he he did. He he spoke a little about them, but not a great not a great deal. My grandfather, when he became a widower, as an elderly man, came to England and he visited, and then went on to end his life in America. He's always puzzled me, but of course too late for me to ever find out. I mean, now I could never know. But I'm really surprised he didn't stay in Lodge where he had his daughters. All the girls, you would have thought maybe he would have settled with a daughter or been near a daughter, but he decided to go to Uncle Jack in America, which is exactly what he did. Did you meet him? When he was in on this was before I was born. It was all in the 20s. I only arrived in 1933. And this would have been about 1922. Mm. Yes. But there are photos which I'll be very happy to show you. You'll see my deep inheritance one day. 